Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is a very exciting video. It's a Christmas house tour. So I'm gonna be showing you around the downstairs of our house, all our Christmas decorations. But before I get into the video, I've got to do my mug of the day and it's this really cute little Christmas mug. It's got little Christmas trees on it. And there is a little wolf. Are you a wolf? I can't remember. I think you're a wolf. Is that a little Christmas wolf? I think it is. Fox. It's a fox. Is it a fox? I don't know. Wolf or fox? Add the comments below. Anyway, mug of the day. I'll stop talking now because I know you just want to see the house, but I'll say a quick goodbye at the end and I really hope you enjoy the video. And I'm just about to start the Christmas home tour off and look who's here. Obviously Rufus because he's always here, but Bessie's come to say hello. Bestie. Swishing his tail. Seeing if there's any cats in the neighbourhood he needs to deal with. It's okay, Bessie, it's cold. Oh, off they go. <laughs> Rufus! Hello, Rufus. Oh, and his roofy doofy. He's just about to do a home tour, Rufus. Yeah. So you can come round with me. We'll show everyone our Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah. Christmas decorations, yeah. <laughs> Already? You want to... Do you? Okay, a quick gravy bone and then the house tour will continue. <laughs> Do you want a gravy bone? Yes, he does. He's off to eat his gravy bone. Right, let's go back outside and start the home tour properly. Hello again. So I'm starting off outside. It's actually a really nice morning. I thought it was going to be quite dull, but the sun is out, which is nice. It's quite low. So it's quite a nice um, warm glow on our little porch here. So outside we've got this little reindeer he's actually lost an ear it fell off but he's still quite happy and um, this little log reindeer and these are the trees I was talking about so if you watched my video the other day I bought these bells um, for these little trees because they just needed something to make them a bit prettier because they've already they're pre-lit but they just needed something pretty so when I saw these um garland of bells I thought I'd get them with the trees and I think yeah they look really nice over here we've got this little guy who we've had for a few years he keeps falling over though so he's um yeah he's, he's upright at the minute but he often falls down so we have to lean him against the side <laughs> so he's quite happy over here another one of these trees and then we've got a wreath on the door that I made actually so we did a little wreath making day at Lee's mum's and it was really fun so I yeah I made this wreath Again, it's looking a little bit, it's like the snowman and the reindeer. It's a little bit worse for wear because I think some of them, no, it's still quite pretty, I suppose. Everything's doing well, apart from that little bit. So it's still pretty, it still looks kind of fresh. I didn't think it'd make it this long actually, and it has. Hello again, Rufus. Right, so this is the porch. It's really cold out here actually, so I'm gonna get inside. I'm showing you all these bits out here. We've still got our lemon trees that are doing really well. It's got some lemons on. <laughs> Didn't quite. Well, I don't know if I could eat that. What do you reckon? We'll slice it up. They actually grew this year, which is amazing. Into the hallway. So this is where we will start. Hello, you guys. <laughs> Hi, Rufus. Hi, Best. Are you trying again? Best is going back outside. So yeah, not too much in the hallway actually. It's not not really gone over the top this year. So just these little Hessian stars from B and Q. Had those for a few years and then just some flowers on our little um side table here that was from facebook marketplace i think that was that was about 15 pounds and it was already painted and i love it so i really like that little console table i've got a little gingerbread candle i've had for years under there and i got this the other day for a pound from um, a charity shop so i just shoved that there some lovely flowers and then the stair garland is a bit random actually. So it looks okay from here, but as you go to the top, it's a bit thin. So don't look at the top bit. <laughs> I'm gonna shut the door because it's a bit cold, isn't it, Rufus? There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, so in here we've got our lovely, you might've seen this mirror before, but this lovely big mirror that we've had here. We got this from a secondhand shop in Yarmouth. We're really lucky to find it because it's just perfect. And I've got these lanterns here. I just need to put some candles in them. Oh, actually, there's one on there, isn't there? So I need to set the others up. I've got these lovely um, artificially candle things that look quite realistic. So I'll put those in there. And yeah, like I said, the stair garland, it looks good from down here. But then 
as you go up, yeah, it gets it gets a little bit thin, but we'll focus on this bit. So on the stairs, I've got quite a few garlands actually. I normally put these on our fireplace, but I had something else on there, so I thought I would put them on here, and I think it looks really nice. Um, do you remember the pine cone? pine cone poos from last year then I've got loads of these um snowflakes on the stairs I've got loads of these around our house actually they were from Poundland they were three for a pound and I didn't realize but I had bought quite a few last year and then um, I found them so I just put them everywhere and I bought a few this year actually so this is our stair garland looks really pretty I think I added a bit of um like this fake eucalyptus as well. Hello, bestie. I'm gonna try and get me, I think. <laughs> and then, yeah, just got some little stars added here. Neatly under the mistletoe. So, yeah, that's the stairs. Got a little seat here. That is also from Facebook Marketplace, and I think that was forty pounds. This little bench. It's really nice, really well made. Just got to the end of the hallway, so this is the view from this angle and we've got a lovely wreath on the door this is um from jasmine and lily floral wreaths a lady who's on instagram and it's beautiful isn't it so i bought this last year and it still looks gorgeous so this one was on our front door but i swapped it over for the homemade one but yeah i love that one it's gorgeous i love the the orange slices in that wreath and then off our hallway is our main living room. I call this the green living room. And it's a lovely room. We don't actually use it very often. It's normally when people are around, we use this room. Oh no. <laughs> I tried to hang a little garland up with sellotape that's just fallen down. Um, I'll fix that in a bit. Just pretend it still says Christmas. Um, <laughs> oh, Bessie's gonna get it. Um, right, so this is the green living room. Like I said, we don't use this very much, mainly sort of at Christmas when people are over. It tends to be quite tidy, this room, which is good. It's really nice, but we're always in the smaller snug room. So we're always watching telly in there in the evenings and getting cosy. But this is a gorgeous room. People come around, they're like, why aren't you in this room? I'm like, oh, because we like the little room. But yeah, I'll show you around. So I've got this gorgeous plant, actually. My dad's wife gave me this a few years ago and it's quite small and it's just like grown and grown. It's got these lovely things coming down here. So I really like this plant. It looks like, oh, it's really heavy. Just moved it around. So got a little plant there. And then again, not loads of Christmas decorations. It's a little bit random actually in here. I was just, I've just plonked some things over there. And I was meant to light the fire. Sorry, I've started. To, oh, look, Bestie. Bestie's up on a chair. So imagine there's a roaring fire. Um, so I've got this lovely tree over here. So we've got two real trees. Um, and then upstairs, we've got our artificial one. So I'll show you these real ones. We've got all our old decorations on sort of from childhood, funny little ones. Oh, Rufus and Bessie are playing. So funny little decorations. That's one of Lee's from when he was younger. There's all sorts on here. Um, some little, yeah, handmade ones from Toby's nursery. He's cute. Where's the one my mum made? Oh, it's here. How adorable is that? My mum made that for me when I was little. So I got my childhood um, decorations on here and all sorts, really. All sorts of... Oh, he's so... What are you two doing? <laughs> all sorts of decorations. Um, yeah, old and new, different memories. And yeah, it's a lovely little street, this. Um, we've actually got these cascading... Oh, hang on, these two are funny if I catch them. Watch this. They... They sort of... Oh, that was the... <laughs> that was the Christmas garland. It's fallen down. Um, right, where was, where was I, Rufus? What's happening? Are you enjoying playing with Bestie? <laughs> um, so I've got these cascading Christmas lights on here. So, hang on, if I can... How do I show you? So that's a, like... A, a light up star for the top and then all the lights come down off the the main star and it's quite pretty it gives your tree quite a nice shape so i like those first time we've used them they normally just sort of go back in the loft but we put them on this tree and it looks really pretty so that's our christmas tree in here and then just got my little table again little coffee table that was from facebook marketplace i was meant to do a video um showing everything oh no look there's a funny flower under there Let's sort that out. I was meant to do a video showing um, 
oh that's that one's got to go showing on my facebook marketplace finds but um i, I didn't get around to doing it so this is kind of you'll see a lot of them in today's video so yeah this was from facebook marketplace i think it was 40 quid it's from dunelm um originally and i love it i love the color and then in this little corner quite simple just some of our wedding photos this time last year we got married so got a few little wedding pictures here in these frames that i got i think they were from a car boot sale those frames are really pretty really lovely and then just some more flowers winter tulips and a mini christmas tree in this corner a little wreath on the back of the door there some junk in the corner we won't uh I won't go over there because that's where things go because they just they get hidden if they're in that corner oh you look cute there rufus then we go to the dining room so it's all open plan in here so i'll start the dining room and then yeah it's joined to the kitchen so this is another of our trees so this is a real tree it's really um it's quite small but it's really chunky i love the the shape of this one actually i think it's lovely um with all sort of natural decorations and white and greens paper decorations so this is the um yeah lovely little tree little chubby chunky tree and i wrapped some presents yesterday really nicely just a few and then the others will just be you know whacked in and sellotaped but i thought i'd do a couple um nicely with little ribbons and things that i had already so this is our yeah this is our dining room and we've got people coming over on, well, today actually. So I've made up the table so it's ready for them. So we can just, um, we can just enjoy it. Oh, I need to add some glasses. That's what I need to do. Add some glasses and then it's all done. So yeah, this is the open plan dining room and then the kitchen's in there. So it's recently been painted. We had a lovely lady come and paint the kitchen called Lisa and she's Lisa Brushworks on YouTube and Instagram, so I'll link her below, and she did a brilliant job. I worked with her years ago, and she's so lovely. So I'll show you the kitchen in a sec. I'll just um, do a little tour of this room. So that's the other tree, Poundland Tree Topper. I don't know if you saw that in a Poundland hall. And then this corner is kind of the bar area, a little chair there. And this is the mantelpiece. So I just put some, I had a little, garland I think that's the I got it from Habitat so I put that there and then added um sort of some bits of faux foliage and a little trailing ivy plant here so that's what it looks like this year nothing I didn't go too crazy I just kind of added a few bits and then left it and thought it looked quite pretty um and then this alcove has just got a few little things on it lots of my secondhand finds up here so you might recognize some if you've been watching my videos all my little bits there. This chair is also from Facebook Marketplace. I don't know if I've shown that before. That was only 25 quid and the pets are always sitting in that. And sometimes Lee sits in it and I don't know he's there. <laughs> and I'm in the kitchen and then he's suddenly there and I go, ah! So that's that lovely little chair in the corner. And then on the table, got a mix of some things I found recently. So these were from B&M, these lovely place mats. I don't know if you saw that video. My plates are Sophie Conran and I found them on Facebook Marketplace last year. I got loads of um, like Sophie Conran plates and bowls and, and things and I, I love it. So this is them. Yeah, I love these plates and I found them, they were really reasonable. Got my little B&M crackers, a little garland. I worked with Sarah Raven on Instagram. So that's where that's from. Oh. I don't know what this is doing here. What are you doing there? Are you happy there? You can stay there. Um, and then Rufus is over here in the kitchen, which I'll show you in just a second. Hang on, let me back up. I don't want to get, I don't want to make you dizzy, you see. So I'll just go over here, I'll turn round. And I'm just in the corner, so looking out to the hallway, I've got um, a little table there. That's my mum's lamp. And it's just lovely. It actually smashed a few years ago. She had family round and it smashed and she mended it. Um, and you can't even tell because... It's sort of the way she painted it and it's perfect. So I love that lamp. Um, so I put that there. My little, I got that years ago from Home Bargains. I don't know if anyone remem remembers. And we put that out every year. So that's just up there at the moment. Rufus is back in this seat. He loves it on there. I think because the rug makes it nice and cozy. And this is a Facebook Marketplace find as well. This bookshelf. I have shown this on Instagram. I think, did I show it on YouTube? I'm not sure, but it was only 20 quid. And they'd stripped it. So it used to be dark wood. 
and I stripped it. So I love this, um, you know, this stripped back wood. I was going to paint it and then I thought, no, I won't. I really like how it is. So I've just shoved a load of books in there. Some plants are down here. And again, the Poundland little snowflakes and some things on top. So that's the bookcase, the table, the dining room. We've moved it over actually, because normally it's in the middle, but we just needed a bit of space between the tree. Um, so that's just over there. And then look what me and Toby did the other day. So I was wrapping the presents and had some leftover wrapping paper. And I remember last year he made some paper chains and they were really pretty. They were just with white um, paper. And I just said, oh, do you want to help me make some paper chains? So we ran in and we made these. And he said about crossing them over in the middle, which is a really nice um, idea. Got the little snowflakes again on the corners. They've gone everywhere this year in my house, these Poundland snowflakes. Such good value and I think they, just, they look lovely. So there's our little paper chains. Really effective, aren't they? And they cost like pennies doing that paper chains, uh, paper chain. And we stuck it up with sellotape and it's still there. Yeah, so hopefully it won't fall down. Right, so going over to this section. So this is the kitchen makeover. So Lisa painted all of this. The color's perfect and I think it just looks gorgeous. And we also changed up the doorknobs. So they used to be a chrome and now we've got this, I think it's called antique brass or something. Um, and then, yeah, just panning round got some little decorations everywhere. So I have been saying for quite a while that I wanted to change up the kitchen and paint it. And finally it's done, so I really love it. I love the cream and green and the antique brass handles. We need to change our tap as well. We have bought a tap, um, so we just need to change that at some point. Yeah, so here's the new kitchen. Well, it's not new, is it? it's just been painted. So I just changed up the shelves, made them a bit Christmassy. Got some little biscuits out and a cup of coffee that I'll have when I finish this um, video. And then, yeah, a few different decorations all around. Some on the window, a little bit random. I, they were better, but some of them fell down. <laughs> and then over here is Bestie Cat. Bestie! And just a little wreath over here on the on the door into the utility and we're not going to go in there because it is full it is full of stuff got some little things up here a basket of hyacinths a little rose and a paper christmas tree on a little sleigh from hobbycraft and then i added a little picture above the arga we are going to tile this arga well the wall sorry not the arga we're not going to tile an arga we're going to tile um above Above the Argo to about here, then put a little shelf on. So that's um, a little uh, project for next year. Then in the middle on a little star place mat, got some fresh flowers. All our cards are over there. And I'll just turn around so you can see on this side. So that's the kitchen. What do you think of the new color? I did really like the gray, but I just wanted a change and it feels, I don't know, it just feels right how it is now. And the units have been painted in Pullman Green by Craig and Rose. And I got it in B&Q, so I got a little tester. And it was perfect, so yeah, I love it. And then Hessian um, by Dulux Cupboard Paint for, for the island. So I've shown you the kitchen. And now we will go into, oh, hello, Rufus. <laughs> hello again. We'll now go into the snug room, We're just giving Bessie some treats because he was desperate for a little treat. You saw that Rufus had, oh, I've said the word treat, haven't I? Do you want a gravy bone? He's got another little gravy bone. Don't mention the word treat. Bessie's sitting there, he's just, oh, he's gonna have a little sip of coffee. Right, so let's go into the snug room. We're gonna go down here. And then from the kitchen down the little mini hallway, going to go into the snug room. So this is our favourite room. This is where we spend pretty much all our time. When we're not in the kitchen, we're in here because it's just the cosiest room. It's my favourite room with the most beautiful windows or doors, doors and windows. Um, and sorry, Toby's um, trampolines out there. But if you can see the big trampoline, 
Yes. So that's what, so in case you're wondering, what is that, this trampoline? So yeah, our lovely little snug room. And this is the coziest sofa. It was from, I think it's Harvey's, but they're not in business anymore. It was a Louise Redknapp um, sofa. You can still get them on eBay, I think. It's really, really comfortable. So it's an L-shaped sofa. And it hoovers quite well like, and cleans quite well. So we're not very precious here. The pets go on it, we go on it. Have our food and stuff here and, you know, it's still in really good condition. And any marks just, you know, just wash really well. But it's a great little sofa. I've got a mini tree here that was, I found that on Facebook Marketplace as well. That was £15. And it's got a little um, tin bucket that it sits in and it was pre-lit as well. So I love that little tree. So perfect for in here. Love this room. Let me go out here. Just got a few random decorations. Oh, I was meant to move them, make them a bit more equal, but they're fine, aren't they? A little chair in the corner. I don't know why that's there. It's not normally there, but it's for Christmas and people will probably come in here as well. So we've got a chair, an extra chair. Hello, Rufus. What are you doing? Are you going to get snuggly? Go on then, up, up. Oh, he's so cute. You're just the best little, best little dog ever. Love you, Rufus. And then just a few random decorations this lovely little wooden tree and then a little garland and a little polar bear mini tree up here and then some wires ignore that bit and our massive telly so yeah this is our favorite place to sit and watch telly get a load of blankets and get snuggly well i think that's everything i think that is my um christmas house tour all done so i really hope you enjoyed it I've shown you everywhere, haven't I? Yeah, apart from the rooms that have mess in. We won't go into those ones. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm now going to drink my coffee in my mug of the day and I shall speak to you soon. Merry Christmas. Take care. I'm now going to go back to, I pre-recorded a quick goodbye. So I'll say goodbye and yeah, speak to you soon. And goodbye from Rufus as well. And that is the end of the video. So I really hope you enjoyed it and love looking around our house at all the Christmas decorations. Any questions, ask away and come over to Instagram. I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and my house account is Kate's Georgian Home, which I'll also link below. So do come say hi on Instagram. Oh, I'm on TikTok as well. I've just um, reactivated my TikTok account. So I've been TikToking. <laughs> So if you want to follow me there, um, that's just Kate's Georgian home as well. I think I can link that below. And if so, I will. I'll also add my previous videos that I filmed recently. So some charity shop Christmas hauls, a lovely Christmas Belgian vlog. They'll be, um, yeah, they'll be linked to. I'll be back on the 5th of January, I think. So that'll be my next video. Um, so have a lovely Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.